got my olive oil from my grandmother's garden and if you're living in the Caribbean, you should be able to get it from your grandmother's garden as well or your garden or the neighbor's garden. But if you're living in the state, you can get it at Publix or Whole Foods. And if you're living anywhere else in the world, you should be able to get it at your local supermarket or your market. But it's really not hard to source olive vera, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my new viewers. Please subscribe and like this video if you enjoy my videos. Today is a DIY video guys. If you have not seen last week DIY video, please check it out. Today I will be sharing with you how to make your very own olive vera and rosemary growth oil. Olive vera and rosemary have very effective properties that promote hair growth and strength as well as treat damaged hair and scalp. While I prepare the olive vera for extraction of oil, I will go ahead and share with you guys a few of the amazing benefits of olive vera. Olive vera strengthens the hair. It has many active ingredients and minerals that help strengthen your hair. It also helps with itchy scalp, protection from UV damage, prevent frizz, make hair softer, treats dandruff, and boosts hair growth. Make sure to remove all the pinty spikes, guys, and be very careful because it's very sharp. So here I am with my aloe vera. I am going to go ahead and put them in a bowl and wash them thoroughly to make sure i remove all the dirt because we will be using the skin as well the skin contains a lot of nutrients guys so i would advise using the skin after i am going to place them on a piece of paper towel to make sure i remove all the water because we all know water and oil do not mix so i want to make sure we dry them thoroughly I am going to cut them into small pieces guys so I can blend them easily. Now that my olive vera is ready, I'm going to move on to my rosemary. I am going to go ahead and use a few pieces of this rosemary. I bought this at the supermarket. If you're in Jamaica, I got this at Progressive. And if you're in the state, you can get it at Whole Foods or uh, Publix. So now I wash them. Now I'm drying them thoroughly to make sure I remove all the water. Rosemary is very good when you're on your hair care journey so make sure whatever you're doing you're implementing rosemary water rosemary oil rosemary deep conditioner will be good here are some amazing benefits of rosemary rosemary stimulate hair growth it also helps to prevent premature grain and dandruff as well as dry or itchy scalp rosemary contains anti-inflammatory properties promotes nerves growth and improve circulation and guys you can go ahead and do your research and get a lot more information on olive vera and rosemary now that my ingredients are ready i'm going to add everything to a blender and i'm adding some coconut oil guys if you haven't seen my diy video or i made my coconut oil at home please check it out the link will be in my description below guys. these are the carrier oils and you could use oils of your choice 
I am also adding some grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is very good for your hair as well as coconut oil and of course castor oil to help with the thickness. Then I'm just going to blend everything together until I get like a smoothie consistency. I honestly did not measure the carrier oil but you can add the oil depending on the amount of oil you want to make. Now that my mixture is ready, I am going to pour the mixture into a warm non-stick pot on medium heat. And guys, this is no rush, so do not turn up the stove high. You're going to burn the oil and we don't want that. So we're going to keep it on medium to low heat. After about 50 minutes, this is what it's been looking like. So as you guys can see, the oil is forming slowly. And I let this stay on the stove for maybe an hour or a little bit over an hour to make sure all the water is out of the oil. So after an hour, this is what it's looking like. So I'm going to just put it aside to cool off and then I'm going to pour it into a container and let it sit in a dark room overnight. You can let it stay longer, but I just let it stay overnight this time. This is what it looking like the next day and as you guys can see the oil is separating from the trash so i'm going to go ahead and strain using a new stocking cap to remove the oil from the trash After using the stocking cap, I'm going to use paper towel and strain the oil again guys to make sure I get out any trash or residue. And this may take a while guys so you might want to do it and just go do something else because it's going to take a little while and you don't want to rush it either. Now that 
my oil is ready i'm going to add it to a bottle that i'm going to store it in and this is the final bottle and of course i'm going to add my essential oils so i can get all the benefits out of this growth oil and you can use any essential oil of your choice so this is vitamin e oil as well as peppermint oil tea tree oil lavender oil rosemary oil cedarwood oil and all these essential oils are packed with amazing benefits for growth thickness and dry itchy scalp so guys this growth oil is amazing this growth oil is packed with so much nutrients so much properties that will stimulate growth thickness and treat your scalp now i am just going to close it up and shake the oil thoroughly to make sure i mix everything together thoroughly so guys yes this is the to go growth oil it smells amazing and you can use this oil on your scalp i use it on my daughter's scalp and my scalp as well as a hot oil treatment or you can add it to your deep conditioner to your shampoo whatever guys so this is the end of my video guys i hope this video was pretty helpful and of course comment down below like this video so youtube can recommend it to others bye guys